hey guys enchanted portals time we got to talk about it a little bit a patch just dropped i need to go over it of course it's patch 1.02 uh, we're going to go over it here together. The spell change system has been revamped. Spells can now be changed instantly. You can switch midair using a single button. That's really good. It allows for quick swapping. That was one of the problems. You'd land, it'd be a huge delay, then you'd, sw you'd actually switch your weapons. It was like completely crap. So we can see it here. You can see it actually switching when you press your uh, trigger, which is pretty nice to see. And uh, they've increased the uh, invulnerability to two seconds after being hit. Iframes is one of the biggest complaints that I have with the game. Sure, it's stiff and it's jank. But it's nice to see that iframes have been added because there's nothing worse than having full health. And then instantly losing your health within like five seconds. It was pretty terrible. So that's really good. Uh, the direction of your dash can now be changed. So you can actually change direction in the air so it's not as stiff. One of the problems was... Everything you would do would be a horizontal plane, then you would drop straight down. And that got you in a lot of trouble, of course, with especially the level they're showing here, the alligator level, which honestly is the worst level in the game. So the second phase of the witch boss has been adjusted to prove, improve balance. You can now use the D-pad for movement. That's huge. Personally, I'm a D-pad player. I don't like to use the analog stick at all uh, because there's actually a time at which it takes to get to your direction um, which a d-pad doesn't have it's instantaneous you want to go left you go left that's it right uh, players will no longer be sent back to the first level when reaching the second level of the hotel I guess that's okay but that wasn't really a hard level and collisions on enemies and projectiles have been improved for a smoother gameplay experience you know what guys it's still not worth the price um, it needs to come down quite a bit. I would say once it gets down to the $10 level, it might be worth giving a shot if you haven't. Co-op is salvageable. It seems like a step in the right direction. So kudos to the developers for actually taking their game seriously. This should have been in the game from launch. It's like they didn't game test it at all. And uh, it's kind of sad, really, because all the momentum they had with the game was instantly lost by these negative reviews. But I wish them the very best of luck, and I hope this is the next No Man's Sky. Guys, if you like these kind of game reviews, co-op content, and live streams, you are in the right place. That's what we do here. So yeah, subscribe and hit the notification bell if you have not, so that you can be informed on all of our content. Bye now.